Make love tonight. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Cause we do it right. Baby. Find that feeling. <laughs> she on the word. How y'all doing? Healing. Yep, so how y'all feel? <laughs> how y'all feel? You know, I'm always eating something. Just got off of work. And uh, got my plate ready. I'm with that, you know. I'm so with that. But tonight we're talking about sexual healing. Right? Purpose of these videos is for people to like marriage enough to get married. And to like it even more to stay married. Right. And the reason we started this series is because... We had a friend or a couple that we dearly admire and um, looked up to. And yeah. they broke up. Killed and us. it just, yeah, just we were devastated. Killed us. And we felt that we need to show people that, you know, good marriages do exist. Right. And what you can do if you don't have a great marriage or if you are wanting to get married and you don't understand marriage, um, we want to show that aspect. We want people to see that there is a way to make it work. Um, I think social media shows all the ugly parts of marriage, they, they never really talk about the good parts of marriage. And so we wanted to um, show you the good parts of marriage. Sharon and I are perfect in the area of faithfulness. What do I mean by that? I mean, we have never physically nor emotionally cheated on each other, Correct. ever. Correct. Ever. And I always say ever, and not that we never will, because I don't make absolute statements like that. What does that mean? That means that, you know, because we are susceptible to l losing some battles in the war versus good versus evil, I don't make absolute statements like that. But up until now, you know, nine or ten years in, we have we have we've won every battle as it relates to you know laying down with somebody else or being in love with somebody else. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, that we're not cordial with other people or that we're not cool with the opposite sex. I understand that we well, I'm cool with you. You feel me? Associates. <clears throat> I just don't take it so far. Like if if I was single, you know what I mean. I'm me. I don't know how everybody think differently, right? This is how I think though. When I see a woman, I want you to get some <laughs> tissue, like you've been. <laughs> you like you might have, babe. Like you might have had a couple lines on the table, <laughs> babe. Babe. Sexual, sexual healing. I see. Like, hey, who? No, I actually have a cold, and I'm out of silk. <laughs> I see, but sexual healing. I'm gonna heal you later. Anyway, everybody think different though. But David thinks like this. This is how I think. You feel me? Can't take this away from me. Maybe you can expound upon it. But I think right. sexually. When I see a woman, immediately, immediately, I think sexually. Every time I see a woman, immediately, I think sexually. Now, I know some people feel like, that's stupid. Well, that's how I think. So I'm a married man, right? So when I see a woman, immediately, I'm thinking sex. Right. I, immediately. Even if she's not attractive to me. I'm still thinking sex, 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 sex. Would she, would I? I mean, this is the first thing that comes to my mind. Even if I'm in the most professional setting of all time, it's the first thing that comes to my mind. Mm. Sex, 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 sex. Mm -hmm. And I come to the conclusion that I might be a sexaholic, right? Or, because, I mean, a lot of men don't think like me. Like, I ask around, and a lot of men do not feel the same way. They feel like, you know, when I see a girl, I don't think like that. I think different. That's good to know. I don't, I be feeling like sex. I don't think like that. I'm not saying I never what? had those thoughts, but, like, you gotta be a really, really attractive man. And then we have to have some type of connection or interaction. <laughs> and I don't let it get that far, because I'm like, you know, you're my coworker, and that's all it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. If you stay over there, I stay over there. You got your work done? Okay. <laughs> like, that's, that's how I am. So, I don't think that way because I don't let it get to that point. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm happy with my husband at home. Right. So I don't think about no one sexually like that. However, mm -hmm. when you have a nice man come on TV with the eight packs and, you know, he's singing to you, sometimes you be like, oh, 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 click, let's turn that. Oh, <laughs> let's turn that. <laughs> so, Sharon, if, I, if, I, if I'm listening to you, 
I got to first of all respect your opinion. Right. And I also got to realize that you think differently from me. Mm-hmm. Right? So if, if I had to put yours in like a graph, y- y- sex would be almost like the apex, and then it would be going down from there. So when you meet somebody, <clears throat> you know, you, you go do, 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 do. And if, I, if you happen to think sexually, it would be the apex. And then it would be going down from there. I guess. So. See, mine starts at the apex. Where do you go? It Have starts you? at the apex. <laughs> then I start, because I'm married, it automatically, I, I make those thoughts, what the scripture says, come under subjection. Oh. But I can't control the fact that I think about sex immediately. I can't control that. Mm-hmm. Like, I've, I've tried to control that. Like, I, I don't have no control. So I got to the point where I feel like, I don't have no control over this. And this how I think. So, you know what I mean? So now what I do, in order for me to continue to be faithful to my wife, I just take the precautions. Right, I do too. You feel me? You will never see me somewhere and I don't have my headphones on, my Bose headphones. You ain't going to see it. Uh-huh. Because I feel like that's one of the many precautions that I take. Right. I'm taking precautions so that the way I think won't, you know, disturb what I got going on. Let me tell you something. I got a sweet wife. Sweet. Sweet, Aww. understanding, kind, everything. My wife is sweet. So if I was to do that to her, it would just be complete greed on my part. Well, let me insert that I just came down from being 315 pounds. And the only way you can do that, the only way you can get to 315 is by being greedy. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? I would recently lost 90, but the only way that I was able to do that was by disciplining myself. Right? So that's what I'm saying. Like, I always make sure I discipline myself. I, right. I've never met a girl, whether she be old, and it, it, some babes are just completely to you. I'm not a pedophile. You feel me? And there's some babes that's completely too old. Like right. I think like somebody used to bang this out. You feel me? <laughs> well, you too young. I don't think like that. You right. know what I mean? It just uh, naturally don't happen for me. Right. But if you right around that age, I'd be like, oh, man, I'll bang that out. Like, and then you have a certain preference, too. You do. Like, like, no, I'm saying you have a certain preference. It's not everybody. Right. But my like my preference and I'm, I'm is you. Like the caramel skin, light skin. Oh, he's being nice. <laughs> With a crumb, like crumb skin, long hair, you feel me? Right. Big booty, a little bit, I, you know what I mean? That's what I like. But really, I don't have a, I know what you think. You feel like, oh, you like a certain type of girl. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the type of girl I like is what I consider to be pretty. Feel me? But what I consider to be pretty comes in shapes, sizes, all different. Now, what you're saying is there's a type of, there's a type of girl that I don't like. Mm-hmm. So uh, let me explain what that means. You know, because my mom and you know, the people that I love did the most, I'm not interested in them sexually. So if you, your body and your attitude looks or like them, I'm yeah. not interested in that. But I, like I said, I got a cousin who will not talk to a light-skinned dude with waves because her dad, her dad and right. her brothers. So it ain't nothing ignorant. It's just like, okay, right. this is not my preference. That either you like... Some people like like somebody resemble their mom. Which right. I think, I think that's what, odd. But, is that homogeneous? But like? that's that happens. Right. Um, but yeah, I, it's people I mean, that the look, house, like right? my dad. I don't like that. I like the opposite. Right. Yeah. So but I'm you don't got nothing against your pops. It's just like no, it's I'm just not. Like, a, I don't date nobody that look like my yeah, pops. That's like, just a little. Uh-oh, yeah. Weird. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want <laughs> to date nobody that remind me of my mom. Right. Like, I don't feel like. But you know. Some people like that, you know. Some people I know a couple like cats that. right now. Like, if you look at their babes, you be like, Man, this babe look like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly, identical. Like, y'all, yeah. weird over here. Like, real. Like, but you know, it exists. But yeah. So, we we coming tonight about sexual healing. We, so, first what do all, you think of when you, when you think of sexual healing? I think of that code I'm about to knock right about you. You know, I mean, literally, like, I feel like, first of all, <laughs> You know, every relationship goes through its tumultuous time, whether it be losing a parent, losing a job, losing, a, losing something. Like, mm-hmm. if, if you're losing something, you're going to go through tumultuous times. But it's one thing that we can always do that bringing us back. Sexual healing. Sexual healing. That's good for me. One thing. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to always have this ready for you. You feel me? And I feel like in marriage, it's a binding agent. It's like a glue. Right. It'll stick us together. We could be arguing about something that is unresolved. 
once I whip this out and put this in, you know, you just, you know, it's just like, okay, like, you know, and it, for real, like, it just is what it is. Like, okay. we didn't have some arguments that are still unresolved. <laughs> well, I'd be in there like, what daddy say? You gonna make them tacos, ain't you? You gonna clean this house? <laughs> you know, you know, for, for real, like, because yeah. it, it worked. Like, sexual healing is, is legit real. And it worked the other way around, too. You <laughs> like, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. I was saying something. What well, never mind. never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It worked, though. <laughs> All it do. <laughs> it worked. It worked. I feel right. like sex is the answer it's for me. It's the antidote. <laughs> and marriage is the answer. A lot of people, if they would just... Just been quiet and just, you know what I mean? Just get it in. Like, y'all would have been cool. Right. You ever see somebody walk around all stuck up and stuff? You feel like, first thing I think is, you need some good pipe. Like, somebody, oh my God. I've been trying to hook them up. I'm like, you know, I got somebody for you, With you me? know? Oh, no, man. No. I'm just saying, I'm no. like, I got somebody Let me for get you. it, though. <laughs> You're mine. Babe, <laughs> I got somebody else for them. Yeah. <laughs> I know, nigga, did you. I don't want to talk about this no more. You know what I, mean? I don't want to talk about this. You know what I mean? But I, I, know, I know what you mean. Like I'm talking about like if I see someone the same sex. Right. That, be usually the, be women that be like, that oh, act yeah. like that. Men, y'all don't y'all don't like hold y'all see. Y'all yeah. be somewhere, anywhere. Y'all don't care. But a baby but holding women, it in yeah, the time. Yeah, they be holding it in. Right, <laughs> waiting for the right person, but it be me. Me the whole time. <laughs> Write you up for no reason. And why like, they be the boss? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Write you up, and you be like, man, you need to get a you, vacation. You, you need know, to go off how to do. You need to get a vacation. Yes. You know what I mean? For yes, real. I got somebody for you. Yeah, I know somebody. <laughs> I ain't trying to date right now. No, 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 no. You need to <laughs> date right now. And ain't about what you're trying to do. Like, it's what you need to do. Man, because you driving me crazy. A good meat section <laughs> to change your entire attitude. Right. Babe had a whole attitude. She come out like, good morning, good morning. <laughs> I know you do all the time. <laughs> I'll be all right too. <laughs> okay. Sorry, my bad. I'm just letting her know. I'm letting y'all. I'm letting them know, like what I be on. You know, like <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> it, it be what it be like. Sometimes you just need to shut up, girl. What's my name? Say it over and over again till I tell you to stop. You already know your name. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I be on though. But <clears throat> sexual healing. That's what we talk about tonight. <laughs> the divorce rate in this country is fifty percent. Fifty. That means one out of every two people you see get married, right. get a divorce. These are people who spend tens of thousands of dollars on weddings, on a party. These yes. are people <laughs> who spent hundreds of dollars on in invites. Right. And they in divorce court. And in debt. Sex is not the only answer, right? Right. Because there's always two outs in marriage. But what my two outs? Infidelity. And the black and the you black. ain't gonna be abusing me, and <laughs> right. you ain't gonna be sticking your donut and or you, you understand what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Those are my two hours. But anything else? Let's let's uh let's get this together. Like you feel me? We can legitimately, legitimately, Olivia. Uh, daddy, that's what should be up. Anywho, it's eleven, Olivia. Go to the sleepy time all the time. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> you. You gotta realize the sexual healing works. You know what I mean? It really works. It does. In marriage. So like but you but really what it really takes though is a humility. You gotta have a humility to have an unresolved issue and not let your pride get in the way. Especially right. if it's something little. If it's right. something big like you black in my eye or you sleeping with somebody else. Like, that's I don't not pride. Sexual you like I'm not on what you on, like you on bull, like that's not pride. That, that's not pride. <laughs> it's a, it, I always tell people there's a huge difference between being silly and being, uh, you know, secure and being silly. Like, <clears throat> one lady asked me one time, would you let your wife go to a strip club? I said, is it going to be other penises there? Like, and if it's going to be other penises there, then no. Like, why? Because there's a big difference between being secure and being simple-minded. Right. Like, and being silly. Like, oh, you silly. Right. Period. Like, 
I'm not a silly person, so I know better. And, she, and I know better. Than, I have been to a strip club where I've been married, but it's been strictly platonic. They smell like hot tilapia in there. I'm not on that. You know that's what I mean? another episode. Yeah, yeah that's that. another episode. But, <laughs> but it's been on some, why did I do this? Just to impress somebody else, you know what I mean? So I got in and got out. But I did to my wife about it, too. It wasn't like it was a major secret. She understood. She's still mad about it now. But... Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> Nobody tell you to touch the black girl's hair. <laughs> My bad. You know, y'all know what it is. Like, <laughs> yeah, a lot of black sisters, but you know better than that. <laughs> I'm just grabbing her head tonight. Like, yo, hey, what's my name? Say it loud. Mm-hmm. See, that's an example of an unresolved issue that can get resolved. Sexual healing. <laughs> Baby, really mad. Baby, my nigga, baby, my nigga, go ahead. Let so, me get off of this. For thing. me, a sexual yeah. healing is, you know, I like that. I want to feel like I'm flying, like I'm just, you know, on top of the world. Like <laughs> my soul has lifted out. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> That's what I call a sexual healing. You're welcome, babe. That's a great experience. You forget about everything. Everything. You know, tell them, tell them more about me, babe. Give me a hug. I love you. I need your Your head, your head, your head. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. can put some ice on it. How it's you gonna tell a nigga you be floating? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then expect my head not to get big. My head gonna get big. There's nothing I wanna talk about. Affirmation. That's one of the five love languages. Right. My number one is physical touch, but if I was truthful, acts of service probably takes a back seat to affirmation. I like to be told I'm handsome. Because I like to tell my she's pretty. And a lot of times, if I don't tell her she's pretty, then if another dude say it and he says it with a sincere heart, right. she might fall for that. Make sure you are constantly affirming genuine affirmation. Genuine. Right. You know, just tell somebody they're pretty. What's that going to do? You feel me? Right. These are just words, but you know words work. Right. That's why preaching works. So the power lies in the tongue. The tongue. That's why because pre- words mm-hmm. work. Right. They are continually effective. That's correct. If you say them sincerely, you feel me? Right. Why do you think that I have a dream speech change the world? Because words work. Right. And so you got to make sure you say it like, oh, man, like, say it with sincerity. Right. Like, like, you look good today, babe. My God. Oh, my God. Your I'm lips are so just juicy. Juicy food. Let me get my, let me get my bag. <laughs> Put it in my little, little <laughs> my dinner, which tonight is delicious. It has some, uh, we're Thank going you. plant-based, so we went potato, Green beans, rice, and like a mushroom sauce, sauteed to perfection. This is actually very good. Thank oh, you. thank you. Mm-hmm. I try, I try. My baby brought my plate, <laughs> my plate ready, you know, even though it's a requirement. I she still. still no she sexual did. healing tonight, where <laughs> my food at? I ain't never been that mad. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been that mad. I'm gonna argue the healing, baby. <laughs> Parenthetically insert, purpose of these videos, which is, of course is to help people get and or stay married. Correct. We haven't mentioned my man W.F. Harley in a while. So we started uh, with him. W.F. Harley is, has a book called His Needs, Her Needs. He also has a six, he has more than one, but he has a six series video, uh, six, six video series mm-hmm. on the book, okay. which I think is good. I don't agree with everything he says, just like I don't expect you to agree with everything that I say. Correct. I don't expect you to do that. Correct. However, uh, for, for instance, his stance on children. I feel like WF. <laughs> get away from me with that. You know I mean? His definition of child abuse, I abuse my kids every day if I listen to him. You got to take what he's saying with a word of grace. You can't argue in front of your kids. I mean, if you're arguing in front of them, that's child abuse. And you lost me. You know what I mean? You, know what I mean? you can argue. You know what I mean? You got, I, well, I, what I say is you don't want to get vitriolic. But it's only so much. And some things you don't need to say in front of your kids. Yeah, you let your kids be innocent. Don't right. take the innocent. Don't <laughs> even you know what daddy did last night or what. You, you know wasn't saying that when you was over her house, <laughs> laying it low and spread it wide. Oh, did you have to sit there in front of my son? Oh, my God. Like, and you don't got to do that. You know what I mean? But for the most part, he talking about any argument. Mr. Harley, but he has a couple good points as it relates to, like, your spouse. Right. You know what I mean? Having one person that, you know... That you can tell the truth with at all. It has to be one person in your life. Hopefully, that one person is you. But the second person needs to be your spouse. You need to be able to tell them the truth. Even if the truth is bad. If the truth is bad, they still need to be able to receive it. You need to be able, able rather. Excuse me, I had a, a root canal, so I'm talking more really weird. But you need to be able to receive the truth. If somebody keeping it real with you, you need to, you need to be able to receive 
their truth and right. be like, you know what? It is what it is, you know. Now I'm about to have to leave you, you know, but I really <laughs> appreciate you keeping your one trillion with me, like mm-hmm. you know, and just like telling them the truth. My wife know, like, you know, I I will tell you. And I tell her for anybody. She get the scoop, like, Oh, this just happened to me, babe. He's like, God dang it. <laughs> God God dang Like, but at the end of the day she be felt like, you know what? It's all right. Come on. Like, in the same way, I'd be like, oh, God. Oh, my God. Why did you let this happen? Like, I'd be like, it's cool. You know what I mean? Let me go ahead and uh, get your sexual healing on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I could be even better. But we do put these on Facebook Speaking and YouTube. Speaking of sexual healing, mm-hmm. you can make your sexual healing a romantic night with bedroom candy. Yeah. Bedroom candy will get you right. I'm trying to tell you, we use a couple of things in there. You know, the chocolate, mm-hmm. and uh, they have um, handcuffs if you're into that. If you want to be locked up, <laughs> so one is an affiliate. If you want that, if you haven't guessed yet, if you want to be locked up, we got mm-hmm. something for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you want to be whipped, some people like to be spanked. They like pain. Pain is pleasure. That's their sexual healing. We got whips and chains and all that old. <laughs> I had enough of that when I gray. watched Roots. Like, I'm Shades straight. of Grey, we got that. Some people like that. That, right. that makes them have an orgasm. They it, like that. If, if that's you, get some other help. Anyway. You know what I mean? And if you dry, we got lubrication. So we don't want you starting the fire. Get some <laughs> lubrication. Get you some lube, boo-boo. It's okay. I yeah, don't like him no more. Sexual healing, get not, not, lube, not a sexual fire. Come get on. you some lube, boo-boo. Yes. Get you some lube. It's okay because sex gets born when you get married. It's some time. Well, I don't know. I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, I don't suffer with that problem. You know what I mean? But I was big, and I, I understand, like, you can't always. They keep... got something for the men, too. They got a lot of stuff in there. Y'all just got to check it out. Yeah. I mean, I can't see what y'all buying, so it's not like I'm in here snooping, like, oh, they got this problem. I can't see it. It's through a third party. Yeah. Like he says, I'm just an affiliate. So all I do is. Tell people about a couple of things or rec- recommend some things for them, but I don't see who purchased anything is um, private. So yeah, we don't ain't big in business like that. So uh, w- by default, if we get big, then marriage automatically gets big. Yes. In the mornings, we talk about money, and we're starting that that process now. Like I said, in the mornings, we always talk about money. We talk about how to get it. We talk about how to how to save it. We talk about how to invest it. We talk about the emotions and control, and we also don't. Say sexual things in the morning. We know how to talk. You know, I'm a BNOW student. Kids I know that how to might talk. be watching my kids. Yeah, <laughs> be on there. They be up, like they be up. We don't do that. But at night, it's for the adults. It's for right. the adults, whether you're married or not. We we it's to encourage you to get married. Right. And same way, we ain't. Then we we always say words at night that we don't say in the morning, like dick, pussy, cock, and boss, because we want the people who listen to those words, we're trying to speak to somebody else right. and encourage them to get married. If you if you don't like them words, chances are you're already in the genre where you know better. Like, I'm not talking to people who know better all the time. I'm talking to people who want to understand what to do. I really right. don't know. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sincerely in love. How and do I, I get married? I want to be a better husband or I want to be a husband. I got to speak you their know. language, yeah. and I can do that too. You feel me? For the most part. So, Anyway, if marriage get big, or if we get big, then marriage is going to get big. big. That's my purpose. I'm going to walk that out fully. So please share our video with someone. If you don't need it, someone else does You know somebody who can talk to you. Share it to them. And can need it. Yes, share it. So until next time, (laughs) we do love you. Bye.